Welcome to A Minute for God. Our second avenue to acceptance is the letter C, which stands for commit to live for the Lord alone. Romans chapter 4 verses 7 through 8 tell us, For we don't live for ourselves or die for ourselves. If we live, it's to honor the Lord. As we commit to live for the Lord alone, we need to see our fellow saints as members of the same team who are growing in grace just like we are. Some Christians launch assaults on people by putting a spiritual label on them. They say things like, I don't think they really are a Christian. Or, if they were really growing in their faith, they wouldn't do that. Friends, we need to give the benefit of the doubt to other believers because we are not the only ones dedicated to the Lord. And the Apostle Paul gives us the reason why in verse 10. So why do you condemn another believer? Why do you look down on another believer? Remember, we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. When we evaluate another person on spiritual matters, we place ourselves in the position of judge over that person. Now that phrase, judgment seat, comes from the place where the judge is set at athletic contests. Those who broke the rules were disqualified and the winner was given rewards. And the only one allowed on the seat was the judge. Everyone else was at the same level as the other contestants. In the same way, you and I appear before the exalted judge of the world and only he will be able to judge the thoughts, intentions, and actions of every human being. Friends, last time I checked, God doesn't need any help judging people because all of us are at the same level. So, only commit yourselves to living for the Lord alone. <laughs>